637 all week on Sunrise. We're helping your family get ready to head back to school. Now, the supplies, they can get expensive, but we're also fortunate to live in a great community. So every year since 1999, the city of Indianapolis has come together to help kids get the supplies for kids in need. This morning, Indy Backpack Attack is back at it. That's right. Our Naomi Peskovitz joins us from downtown with an inside look at this mission. Hey, Naomi. <laughs> Ben and Julia, you know, this event really gives me a strong sense of pride for our city, especially being here at the warehouse and seeing all of these backpacks ready to head out to kids across Indianapolis. You remember the first day of school, getting a new backpack, maybe it was Pokemon, getting a new backpack is really the best feeling and having fresh pencils and pens and paper, all of those supplies can be very expensive. But this organization has been working for a long time to make it possible. And Mandy Emery is the chair of Indie Backpack Attack. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Amy, for being <laughs> we're, so, we're so thrilled to have you. I know that uh, things have changed as far as the kinds of requests you're looking for. We're getting a look at those here, too. Yeah. Um, yes, um, earbuds are really important now. A lot of the uh, students are using iPads, and with the earbuds, they can listen to their own lesson rather than everybody else's. Yeah, earbuds, the flash drives, yeah. things are certainly changing, and uh, companies have been collecting these. Yes, they have, and we've had quite a few here in the flash drives, and if you have supplies, please bring them to the warehouse here at 16th Street, 1830 West 16th Street. Yeah, and you can also drop them off at Donato's or Indiana Members Credit Union. Uh, we've got some shuffling going on around here sorting through everything. Our friend Ron Collier is here, the CEO of Indiana Members Credit Union. We're, we're thrilled to have you and to talk about how this event has grown. It's just wonderful the companies here in Indianapolis that support this uh, effort to get school supplies to the kids in the IPS schools. Uh, every year it just seems like we get more and more people that get interested. This year we've got the police and fire uh, helping out to collect school supplies. So it really shows the generosity of people here in Indianapolis. And Ron, you're a former teacher yourself, right? So what kind of difference does this make for a student? Well, you know, when the school year starts, uh, you really want to get off to a good start. And if the kids don't have the tools they need uh, to come to school, then it's really chaotic mm -hmm. in the classroom. So this helps the kids be ready to learn, helps the teachers, and it's just a better environment for everyone. Well, for those of us who spend a lot of time in Indianapolis, we know that this event is so crucial to those children. And so it's a source of pride, and it's an important day for them to be here. And again, those supplies start going out next week as kids head back to school. Ben and Julia, 